The Plymouth Area League of Women Voters hosted a forum to address the availability of water for Plymouth residents in the future and its cost, among other issues. As pressing as the issue of water is, the meeting wasn't all doom and gloom. The panel of experts there were able to address the major issues facing the region and help explain what changes can be made to reverse course. Well, we were asked by, to do an informational meeting from the League of Women Voters to inform people about the importance of uh, water, drinking water issues, particularly water resources, uh, the saving of water resources, protection of water resources, um, particularly with, you know, we're in the middle of a drought right now, uh, and with the other issues within the town, including the sewer issues uh, with the failure of, of the sewer main. So it's more of an informational thing to give people some baseline knowledge and then to answer any questions they may have. This is probably the fourth um, strongest drought or fourth most severe drought we've had probably since about 1960s. There was one in 64, one in the early 80s, 64, 67, one in the early 80s, one in the early 90s, and then this one. Um, one thing good that through the uh, reduction in water use that we've had over the years, uh, low flow toilets, uh, cleaning up leaks and stuff like that within the, uh, force, within the main system, within the distribution system, um, actually we're coming through this drought pretty well considering how little rain we've had. If this were probably in the, you know, 20, 30 years ago when people did not have those water saving devices, uh, it'd be a lot more challenging. We have had a lot of problems, you know, with availability of water for, uh, in this town, uh, cranberry harvesting uh, and other issues, but we're making through pretty well considering. I hope that people will come and get a baseline knowledge of what's going on with water, some of the issues that surround water um, within the Plymouth Carver Aquifer, not just within Plymouth, but the larger aquifer system, uh, and uh, back some questions that they may have, uh, long-standing questions, to help them better understand uh, the issues within the system, what they may be able to do to um, minimize their impacts on the, the water system, and uh, other actions that they may be able to take to do that. It's my understanding that the League of Women Voters is sponsoring this meeting and it's open to the entire public. That anybody that wants to come along is more than welcome to come.